Today, I'm very excited <laughs> because I'm going to be converting trash into treasure. Now, I've got this old wheelbarrow that someone was going to throw away, just shamelessly throw it away into the rubbish. Here it is behind me. I've got one that's very similar, but mine's all right. Now, this one's pretty knackered, like it's got a, a the bottom starting to go and I'm going to have to throw it myself soon, but I want to try and use it for a bit longer and get a bit more life out of it. So I'm going to convert it into a container. I'm going to plant some stuff in it. So video today, I'm actually just going to construct everything all right. So I've got my old bin, or wheelbarrow, I should say, here. All right, look at that. It's still all right. It's got a flat tire and, you know, it's a bit gnarly, but that's all right. Now. Because I'm going to use this as a container, and because it's got no holes in it, and the water's going to sit in it, and everything's going to get muddy and logged and die, we want to put some drainage holes in it. So you can use a hammer, I've got a tomahawk, I've got a large nail, and because the bottom is fairly thin, all I want to do is just put some holes in the bottom of it. All right. Now I'll just bang a few in. Now because the contour of this kind of grades down to the front, best thing to do is just put a few in at the front where the water is going to settle. Alright, so put a few in. Uh, a couple more. One more for luck. And I must put one more. Right. Now it's a good idea to actually put the holes in anything like this, especially metal objects, through the top. Don't turn it upside down and do it because you'll force the metal to go up. So it'll actually create like a spike. You want it to actually go down from um, gravity fed, so you cause like a little concave or convex you cause a little whirlpool type shape all right now easy here we go put the nail somewhere where you're not going to forget it now i just happen to have some cardboard lying around so i thought i'll chuck that on the bottom and get rid of it now it's a good idea if you've got another rubbish bin to put the stuff that's going to go in a new one in the old one because that gives you a gauge how much you're actually going to need to fill up the old one, all right? So I've got some old pea straw that I'm going to put in. Now this will break down really nicely and it'll be a nice form of nitrogen for whatever I plant in there. Like so. Just a little bit of it. Now that'll break down too, so when you're filling it up, Put it a little bit higher than what you would normally because that'll actually settle and break down and it'll drop an inch or two. Alright, now from here, get your shovel. Now I've just got some compost here. And it's literally as easy as filling it in. How easy is that? Now bear with me, I know it's probably boring watching me do this. best thing with wheelbarrows as um, items that you can plant stuff in is that you can move them around. So if you've got to want to put it somewhere or bring it in from the cold or shelter it or put it out in the sun over the course of the day, pick it up, move it around. Now, the only adverse thing really with this is that you only want to use this for shallow things, lettuce, 
um, spinaches, stuff like that. You don't want anything with a deep root system because it's obviously going to hit the bottom and then that'll have adverse effects to the actual vegetable itself, all right? So just shallow stuff. Look at that. Nice and rich, ready to rock. Uh, I'll put a little bit more in, just for measure. There's a few worms in there too, which is good. So, right, give it a good spread around, make sure it's nice and even, I'll just get rid of the loose bits on top, I'll put them in something else, and that's it. How easy is that? So now you can use this to plant stuff in, and it looks really nice, I have to admit, things like, um, utility type things like wheelbarrows and stuff like that when they've got you know heaps of lettuce and, or herbs or something like that coming out of it looks really nice so there you go just another way of recycling things put a few holes in it make sure the drainage is all right fill it up and away you go this is going to go deteriorate over a while so eventually it's going to get thrown out i'll try and recycle it somehow use the the handles and whatever but for now, I can use it to plant stuff in. And look at that. I can move it around. Oh, hang on, the sun's over here or whatever. Cool. How easy is that? Cool. Any questions or if you've got any good recycling ideas, like this kind of stuff, let me know because I always like to kind of learn stuff like that too. Cool. All right. I'll come back when I decide what I'm actually going to plant in it and I'll come back and I'll plant that in it. All right. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.